Hi, we're here today with Praveen, who's a data protection architect, and he's going to talk about NetBack for SAP HANA best practices. Right, Praveen? Thanks, Jason. Um, as you know, SAP HANA is, a, is an in-memory database. So most of the data you're actually trying to, um, from a transaction standpoint, it's all stored in the memory. So initial, when, when SAP HANA came out, the first release of it, they supported only by staging the data into a staging area and backing up the staging area. So with NetBack for SAP HANA, when we introduced the actual feature release, um, we started supporting both methods. So we can actually stage it. If SAP HANA database DBA wants to stage it to staging area, we we'll sweep the data from there as you would do with a normal NetBackup for traditional, NetBackup for any file system based backup or Unix client backup. But we supported that from get go. But with NetBackup for SAP HANA, once they started doing support for um, uh, backing up directly from the in memory into actual NetBackup media server, we started supporting the day they started. Uh, they announced it. So the way it works is when you look at the NetBackup for SAP HANA, uh, from a SAP HANA standpoint, you can have a two node configuration or a single node configuration or more than more than one or two nodes as well. So it depends upon how they configure their SAP HANA configuration. So with the SAP HANA, you can also buy as an appliance form factor. So they scale as you uh, as you want to scale your database. Um, in this example, I'm going to just take an example of two different nodes in SAP HANA. So with this, with the uh, NetBackup for SAP HANA, we do the similar functionality as we did for NetBackup for SAP. So we use backend integration. So backend allows us to actually integrate directly with SAP HANA database and move data directly from the in-memory into the NetBackup medium, which could be disk or tape. So as you, as you know, with, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, we, we support the SAP HANA from both the traditional backup, which is staging and going to net backup, and with SAP um, in memory going directly into the net backup side of it, we support only full backups, and that's that's a, that's a limitation from SAP itself, SAP HANA itself. So as long as once they start supporting incremental backups, we'll also support that. Right now, it only supports full backups, and we also support point in time recovery. What, I'm, what I mean by that is you can actually go back to whenever you did the backup and apply all the logs to it. So you can back up logs and data separately as well. And as far as re, um, recovery is concerned, we have to do a full database recovery. That's also a limitation from SAP HANA as well. Um, that's it. Okay, so great. So you talked about some of the database and log uh, components of SAP HANA. What are some recommendations there for protecting? How, how do you protect those components? So, Typically, when you back up SAP HANA, we back up the database as well as the log backups. Um, if you want to separate them and you actually want to do point-in-time recovery by backing up the log, log separately, you can also create what we call in uh, SAP HANA, there's a configuration file called .util file. And there's a global.ini file where you define where your data backup parameter is and where your log backup parameter file is. Within the data, data backup parameter file, you'll define the policy that you're using for your database backup. And for the log backup parameter file within global.ini, you would define the util file that gets utilized to define a separate policy for log backups. Okay, so um, that's great information, Marine. Thank you. So I know SAP HANA has a uh, appliance form factor. So what are some ideas for protecting uh, SAP HANA? So it's a similar functionality as we talked about. If it's a one node or a two node configuration, the backup is smart enough to know as long as you configure the NetBackup or SAP HANA agent on all the nodes, will automatically initiate the backups concurrently at all on, on, in parallel, actually, on all the nodes at once. By the way we generate those backups is we generate um, a backup job for every service that you have running on the SAP HANA node. So if you have a processor engine or index engine, depending upon what engines are running each one of the nodes, we generate a job per engine. So it basically what, what it turns out to is individual pipe for every single service, uh, every single server, and that in turn turns into a backup job. So if you have a four node configuration and you have four, service, four server types running on each one of those nodes, ultimately you can have 16 jobs running at any point in time. Okay, so that's wonderful information, Praveen. Thank you for uh, talking about some of the best practices for SAP HANA with NetBackup.